Yeah, hello students. Uh, one, good afternoon, all of you. Once again, everyone, welcome to the computer organization online session. So, in the last sessions, uh, we completed the revision of unit number one. And in the unit number two, we discussed some topics like uh, uh, what is a register, what is an instruction, what are the different types of instructions. Uh, what is the RTL register transfer language? How data is transferred from uh, main memory to the processor and input devices to the processor? That's what we covered in the last videos. So, now here in this video, we covered the topics of stack organization, instruction formats, addressing modes is very most important question. Addressing modes, data transfer and manipulation, programmed control reduced instructions at computer risk so that's what we covered here in this session yeah the main part of the computer that performs the bulk of data processing operations is called the central processing unit and is referred to as a cpu so central processing unit so that, that we discussed it there in the functional units of a computer. So the major role placed in the computer is uh, CPU, Central Processing Unit. Uh, so Central Pro Processing Unit is the combination of ALU, CU and MU. So arithmetic logic unit, memory unit and a control unit. So the CPU made up of three major units. Control unit, register set and arithmetic logic unit is called memory, control unit, ALU, arithmetic logic unit. So the register set stores in intermediate data used during the execution of the instructions. So uh, when an instruction is split down into micro operations, those micro operated data is stored in the register. Register is a small storage area and uh, which stores intermediate data during the execution of the instruction. Because the data stored in register uh, moves quickly to the ALU when compared with other memory areas. Uh, so automatic logic unit ALU performs the required micro operations for executing the instruction. Nothing but all the operations. So there we discuss it in the instruction. Instruction is the combination of uh, upcode and operands. So upcode and operand. So upcode is nothing but an operation. So whatever the operation it is, it may be either the automatic operation, logical operation, shift operation, or whatever it may be. So the operation has to be performed there in ALU in the CPU. So the control unit supervises the transfer of information among the registers and instructs the ALU as to which operation has to be performed. So there are so many n number of operations has to be performed. So which operation has to be performed that will be decided by the uh, control unit. Uh, control unit sends uh, control signals to the data. So control unit sends control signals. Uh, depending upon that particular control signals, ALU will execute the instructions. Uh, 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 instruction is split down into micro operations. Those micro operated data is stored at uh, registers. So, what is stack organization? I think you guys uh, you covered this stack organization in your data structures topic. I think you all are good in a stack organization. Stack or uh, LICO, last in first out, is a useful feature uh, that is includes in the CPU of most computers. Last in first out. Stack in this manner last in first out so this is the stack pointer which represents a stack if, if one is there that is stack is full if it is zero that is stack is empty these are the address fields zero this is 64 bit stack for that purpose zero to n minus one so here n is 64 0 1 2 3 4 and so on 63 so the stack pointer register sp contains the binary number whose value is equal to the address of the world so whatever the address uh, we are given there so whichever the data we needed so there we are given that particular address here we are given address number three so we need data of c so stack pointer represents top of the stack uh, for moving uh, this is the general procedure so how the stack is filled and data is moving so you guys are good in stack that's why i push operation is the pop operation so what uh, how the push operation is done how the pop operation is done so that what you studied there in your data structures and uh, uh, right now you are studying in your uh, uh, DAS subject 
that's it. Rest a move to next topic. Uh, I want to discuss this is the memory stack program counter stack pointer where address register address of the stack data register so stack pointer sp minus 1 sp so i hope you are good in stacks and queues that's why I jump from this topic to next topic. Next one, instruction formats. So here in the instruction format, the format of any instruction is usually uh, depicted in a rectangular box uh, uh, symbolizing the bits of the instructions as they appear in memory words or in a control register. So the bits of the instruction are divided in group called fields. The most common fields found in instruction formats are operation code field, address field, and mode field. Operation code field, address field, and mode field. So in an instruction, we have to be split down into three parts. So one part is for operation, and one part is for address, and one part is for mode. So most computers fall into one of the three types of CPU organizations single accumulator organization, general register organization and stack organization. So here in the single equipment organization, an accumulator type organization, uh, what is meant by an accumulator? Accumulator is a temporary storage register in the CPU. So for example, if you want to perform A plus B value, so A value is moved to A value and B value is moved to value their addition operation is completed uh, then after result moves to the accumulator accumulator is the temporary storage medium if you are given uh, another address field then the uh, result moves to that particular address field uh, otherwise uh, it placed there at accumulator so is the general register organization general register organization add r1 r2 r3 this means the data at r3 added with data at r2 and moved to the result moves to the register r1 so add operation is performed in between r2 and r3 so here r2 and r3 are the source 1 and source 2 r1 is the destination so in syntax we write it as operation or opcode Destination comma source one comma source two. This is the general register organization. And coming to the stack organization, here the push and pop operations has to be performed. So here three address instruction. Uh, these topics we covered in the last video. Three address. So R1, A, comma B. That means A and B values are uh, uh, variable A and variable B. So the value of the data there at variable A added with variable b and result moves to register r1 this is the three address and two address here the r1 acting as both source and destination so data at r1 added with a and result again moves to r1 uh, here the uh, one address instruction uh, the data in the variable a added with the accumulator so the data at accumulator accumulator is a temporary storage register there is some amount of data is there so the data is added with the variable a so that moves to a so risk instruction what is meant by risk risk is nothing but a reduced instruction set computer Higher in the risk, so generally we are using uh, so many instructions in a program, uh, but uh, if you have to be apply the risk, it will reduce the uh, count of instructions. Uh, and generally, we are using so many addressing modes, but uh, here the instructions may be less than or equal to 100, 
instructions may be less than or equal to 100 and addressing modes are less than or equal to 4 that is called risk so for example uh, in embedded systems like micro ovens uh, or uh, air conditioners or uh, refrigerators there there also again a code is needed so a less amount of code is needed uh, there also memory is rom is placed uh, there in the embedded devices uh, there uh, required a smaller amount of code for that purpose there we have to be applying these risk instructions risk instructions means so code is reduced and used less number of addressing modes so what is an addressing mode so addressing mode is nothing but uh, where can we are fetching the data from where we can fetch the data that uh, represented by the addressing modes uh, if you wa uh, watch the addressing modes then you can easily assess where the data from so addressing modes the way the operands are chosen during program execution is depend on the addressing mode of the instruction the way of operands are chosen during program execution is depending on the addressing mode so where it came from like that so there are different addressing modes are there first one is implied mode in this mode the operand specified implicitly in the definition of the instruction for example the instruction complement accumulator Ex immediate mode in this mode the operand is specified in the instruction itself in other words an immediate mode instruction has an operand rather than an addressing field so immediate address mode directly hash 5 hash 6 in this manner we can write this immediate mode so register mode register indirect mode register mode means here the data came from register so register indirect means so if you have moved to register for data data is not available there in the register there an address is available so so now I got immediate mode in just a moment data account in just not directly address space by just as the memory location no data account in just on the immediate mode director so register mode in just on the one of the register of address space as some are one or two any one more one they click with the data available good to this organism on data and access is for the register mode register indirect mode which is a key one of register they could welcome either are one they can add to the agricari now man who means here so system data bus moves to the a register there so here in the register indirect mode the data bus address bus moves to the register r1 but uh, their data is not available r1 no data on the account of the r1 register low for address field on the so if you are moving to that address field there the data is available like that so next one auto increment auto decrement mode direct address mode directly uh, by using hash hash five go to address field indirect address mode so here in the direct address mode we are moved to uh, that particular address location for, uh, for example data is available in the thousand address location so there we are directly right uh, hash thousand we are moving to uh, thousand address location that is direct address mode so indirect address mode means if you are move, uh, moving to uh, thousand address location their data is not available in the thousand address mode uh, their specifically another address location is placed in that particular address location so that means data is not available in that particular location we have to move to another location so direct mode in the root of one thousand and rise from under that thousand location the critical data which one today indirect address mode a moment that day so thousand location the critical event a after in co cutters location the data on dance and then what will you go in co cutters location on today after killing one of data and access is one time more that is indirect address mode so under relative address mode is more uh content of the program counter is added in the address part of the instruction and indexed addressing mode and a base register addressing mode uh, these are the numerical examples so direct address mode so directly move to the 500 location in fact direct we have to access 800 in indirect mode if you have to move to 500 their address location of 800 is placed uh, that uh, for that purpose we are moving to 800 there uh, the data 300 is available so relative mode in there so uh, i can share this material to you you can go through with the uh, uh, these examples now you can easily uh, understand the addressing modes concept
is very most important one in the computer organization addressing words because uh, this topic is uh, there in the syllabus in unit number two and as well as unit number three so we can prepare this topic thoroughly and next one data transfer and manipulation so what are the different data transfer and manipulation operations so data transfer instructions data manipulation instructions and program control instructions so what is meant by data transfer instructions data has to be moving from one register to another register by using these operations load store move exchange input output push pop all these instructions are using for data transfer load store move exchange input output so you can uh, uh, read this uh, theory thoroughly then you can easily identify data transfer instructions uh, and data manipulation instructions are arithmetic logic and shift instructions that means you have to be apply arithmetic operation between any two registers so now 8 plus 5 uh, it will be converted to 13 so but here just only moving same data is moving from one location to another location by using these operations but here the data is changed that means either increment decrement or uh, addition subtraction multiplication division whatever the operation we have to be perform so the data value is changed that is data manipulation instructions arithmetic instructions logical instructions and uh, shift instructions uh, are the data manipulation instructions and next one logic and bit manipulation instructions uh, clear complement and are exclusive are clear all these are the logical and bit manipulation instructions shift instructions shift right shift left arithmetic shift arithmetic shift right rotate shift rotate shift right so these are the uh, shift instructions uh, and program control branch jump skill call return all these are the program controlled ones and reduced instruction set uh, computer risk so system risk so here the, the sysc is a large number of instructions typically 100 to 250 but coming to the risk this is reduced instruction set less than 100 instructions are using here more number of addressing modes are used here less number of addressing modes are used here in the sys variable length instruction formats uh, here a uh, single cycle instruction execution so this is that uh, so you can go through with this material you can easily identify the difference between a uh, sys and risk so these are the important questions in this unit uh, so risk and sys and micro operations like uh, arithmetic operations logical operations and shift operations so data manipulation operations these are data manipulation operations data transfer and manipulation operations arithmetic shift logic logical operations uh, and coming to the data transfer and manipulation operations coming to the data transfer these are the transfer operations coming to the manipulation they are automatic logic and shift operations we have to study data and next uh, these are the different addressing modes uh, so where the data from so data from register it is register direct mode so uh, if we have to be move to register their data is not available address of uh, another location is available in that particular register that is register indirect mode likewise we are moving directly to the memory location that is a uh, direct mode so we are moving to memory location their data is not available there another location is another address location is available there that is uh, called it as a uh, indirect mode direct uh, register direct mode register indirect mode uh, direct mode depending upon memory location indirect mode and uh, implied mode and uh, implied mode means direct number is uh, moving to the processor number value and as well as uh, immediate mode auto increment and auto decrement mode so these are the different addressing modes uh, so this is very most important question so these are the instruction formats three address two address one address and zero address instruction formats and uh, this is the general register organization stack organization and single accumulator organization so these uh, topic related to stack organization so in the stack the principle is LIFO, last and first out. So this is the introduction to CPU. Okay. So with this, we successfully completed a unit number three. In the next video, we started unit. We will start unit number three.